The original Game Boy is really good on batteries. It'll even work on two double A's, just put something metal in the other slots. But will it run on these batteries? There's a common school chemistry experiment where you stick a copper coin and a zinc coated screw into a lemon and you can use it to light up an LED light. LEDs need very little power to work. We don't have copper coins in Australia and I thought I might use something with more surface area for the zinc side too. But neither of those metals are easy to find in sheets or strips or anything really. So I went to Bunnings, I bought some zinc coated steel strapping and some copper plumbing pipe which I flattened out in my vice. Cutting them up hurt my hands quite a bit and when I did the LED experiment I needed three lemons to make one LED light up and it barely lit up at all. You could only really see it in the dark. How many lemons do we need? First I need to know how much power the Game Boy actually uses. It says 0.7 watts on the back but that's just the maximum it can use with all its accessories connected and all that sort of stuff. I need to know what it's actually using right now. So I've got the voltage showing here, the current showing here in milliamps and the voltage times the current equals the power or watts. This is using about 0.25 watts. I can turn the voltage down a whole bunch. At just 2 volts the Game Boy is still working, still playing, the sounds a little bit crunchy but that's the only problem. So less voltage means less lemons right? Well no. The current has gone through the roof. If you multiply these together you still get 0.25 watts. All I've done here is taken some lemons from the voltage pile and stuck them in the current pile. Now it's time to measure a lemon. With nothing connected to it we get nearly 1 volt which is actually pretty good. A double A is 1.5 volts. I can set this to drive this lemon as hard as it goes. The less resistance I give it the more the voltage drops off and the more the current increases. However this time we're dealing in microamps. I've never even used this function on my multimeter before. Multiple Applying these numbers together, I get 0.0001 watts. That's going to be two and a half thousand lemons to run a Game Boy. I'm not going to do that. I reckon I can do something better. And that's where this comes in. This is a capacitor bank. It's kind of like a bucket for electricity. You can drip power into it really slowly and then tip it out as fast as you need to later. Each lemon battery is about 0.9 volts and the four AA batteries that the Game Boy is supposed to run on equal six volts. If we want six volts out of lemon batteries, we need seven lemons. But because lemons are such terrible batteries, batteries, I'm going to use 14 lemons, two banks in parallel. Ready to go. This is showing there's no current flowing because I haven't connected it to the capacitors yet and this one's showing the voltage in the capacitors which is at zero. Hopefully once I connect this wire this will rise up and this will start to rise very slowly. <laughs> it's going, oh it's almost at a, <laughs> almost had a millivolt. That is one one thousandth of a volt. We need to reach about two volts at least. So I I'm gonna leave this for a while. Well that didn't take long. Every day I've come in, checked the progress and wiggled the connectors in the lemons because it brings the charge rate up just a tiny bit. I've been keeping the voltmeter unplugged when it's not being used because there's a tiny little bit of parasitic load which might slow down the charge and even with that I've gained less than 0.1 of a volt over the last 24 hours. I'm going to call it, we're done charging the capacitors, let's see what the Game Boy can do with the power extracted from 14 lemons. But first I want to do a lemon autopsy. Wow, the copper's actually shinier. It's improved. It's got some pretty blue oxide up the top too. Whoa, that's not improved. The zinc is pretty much all gone. I think this is the one that was making the charge increase when I wiggled it, because there's hardly any zinc left. It was kind of just cleaning off the dirt to make better contact with what's left. Surprisingly, it doesn't look too bad inside. I kind of thought this would go all black and stuff, but it just looks like lemon. It's a bit dirty on the zinc side, but mostly I think it just dried out and the zinc went bad and that's why I stopped charging. Time to connect up the lemon power. Ready? Ready, go! <laughs> it's working! Yeah! This music's gonna be in my head for far longer than this power's going to last. Wow, the motion blur is so much worse than I remember from back in the day. When I was doing my research for this, I managed to actually charge up half a volt into these capacitors with one lemon in two hours. I thought this would be easy, I'd be able to do it in a day and we'd be done. But it turns out, lemons don't seem to stack quite like batteries do. I expected the charge rate to stay the same and the voltage to come up. It just didn't work that way. I guess lemons have a more significant internal resistance than batteries. Who would have guessed that fruit would be a kind of rubbish battery? We're getting dimmer. You're gonna have to turn up the brightness. Turn down the brightness, I guess. Almost at two volts. Oh, it's starting to rain a lot. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be lives that stop me. Oh, it's such a shame the rain's ruining this. The audio's so crunchy. Oh! Yeah, I forgot that's not how you do that. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I'm panicking because I feel like it's gonna turn off soon. <laughs> Oh, I'm doing so bad. I can hardly hear the sound now, and it's not just the rain. Yes! 
Yeah, it's time to turn the brightness darker again. This is actually doing better than I expected. All of this gameplay is on lemon power. The sound has completely gone now. There's no sound at all. Come on, can we finish this level? Whoa, the screen just faded off a whole bunch. Under 1.5 volts now. This is less than one double A. Oh no! I don't have time for this. The brightness is all the way at the darkest now. Oh, the screen is going so faded. Come on, end of the level. Yes, I finished the level. 1.25 volts, one and a quarter volts we're at. We've got the fire flower, I think. I don't know, maybe that's not what that was. I really can't see very much anymore. It's still going, it's so hard to see. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up at all. I fell off the level. I can't believe it's still going. 1.16 volts, it's so dim. It's nearly impossible to play now, but it is still on there. It is unplayable, but it is still running at 1.08 volts. I don't think it's taking button inputs anymore. I can see a tiny ghost of part of the level, but I can't make it move at one volt. I, I think it, I think it's gone. It's, it's gone. I got over 10 minutes of play from 14 lemons charging for eight days. Per hour of charge, we got nearly three and a half seconds of gameplay. So if you happen to have a giant capacitor bank, a lemon tree, and don't mind cutting up some bits of your house, you too could play Game Boy for free for 10 minutes a week. Ah, oh, thanks for asking. Yes, I do have a lot of video games and I'm always buying more. If you'd like to see them, I post a photo of each thing I get as I get it on Floatplane. It's only a dollar a month. If that's something you'd like to see, the link's in the description. I'll see you there. Yeah.